Hey, Kaido. You have nothing to do, right? Go clean up the warehouse. Look, the manager is telling Kaido to go clean up the warehouse again. You're right, but isn't it his fault? I heard that he's been here for five years, but he still can't do anything right. Right? It's hard to believe he started at this company the same time as Noah Echizen. To put it simply, I, Keisuke Kaido, am dead weight. I've been labeled as useless around here. The reason? Well, there's a lot, but let's not talk about that for now. Just know that I'm a system engineer. Hi, Kaido. Hi, Echizen. I haven't seen you for a while. When did you get back? Her name is Noah Echizen. She's my co-worker. She's efficient and works tirelessly. The higher-ups are really invested in her. We were working in the same department four years ago, but she's been promoted since then and works at the main office. I'm glad she seems to be doing well. Yeah, I did. I asked to be transferred back here. What? Really? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Really? You're still a worrier, huh? Everything's fine. Okay. By the way, where are you going? Isn't it too early for lunch? Oh, I'm going to go clean the warehouse. What? Did the manager tell you to do that? Echi Zen, you're wearing your heart on your sleeve. Oh, s sorry. You don't have to apologize. But it's my fault. It's not your fault. You can't think like that. But... All right, we're done talking about this. If the manager sees us, he's going to get mad at us for having small talk. You should get going before he sees you. Okay. I headed to the warehouse. And when I returned two hours later... Hey! Hurry up and fix this! But I can't do anything about this! Who did this anyways? Huh? What are they talking about? Kaido! What? I can't believe you did this! Do you know what you've done? Um, what are you talking about? Why? This system we released yesterday! You were in charge of it, right? What? No, this was your project. There was a bug in this system and important customer data has been leaked! Apparently the bug is from the system section you made! But I wasn't even a part of this project. Don't lie to me! All your team members have told me that you are in charge of it! I looked over my coworkers involved in the project, but they all looked away from me. And I understood. These guys were planning on making me take the fall for their mistakes. I looked at the logs to prove that I wasn't part of the project. But for some reason, my name was on every record. The manager had written my name on the member list as insurance. He had hurriedly written over the WBS. But if he had gone this far, I knew for sure he had deleted the backup data. I then tried to tell my other superiors that I was innocent, but no one would believe me. Rather, because of the huge loss that came out of this mistake, they were working their hardest to make me resign. They were trying to make me take full responsibility. Hmm, what should I do? I didn't think they would pressure me to quit. Oh, they really got me good this time. Kaido! Edison? What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Why is everyone saying that you're quitting? Oh, you heard. The manager got me really good this time. Why are you fine with all of this? Why do you have to do as he says? It's not like I'm fine with it. I was thinking what I should do about all this. This is wrong. You weren't even involved in that project. Yeah, this branch didn't even let me do any engineering work. Everyone calls me dead weight anyway. I think they all know that I had nothing to do with this. Then why won't you fight back? Even if I fight back, no one's gonna back me up. Everyone's afraid of what the manager will do to them. Okay, then let's go talk to the boss. That's the only thing left that we can do. Hmm, but I don't have any evidence that I wasn't involved. Who cares about evidence? It's impossible to prove that you didn't do anything. But it is hard to show people I wasn't involved. So I was thinking that it wouldn't be so bad to just quit. Are you kidding? You can't do that. But I can't just stand by and let them get away with this. What? What are you planning to do? I'm not going to do anything, but that's the point. Huh? You'll find out soon enough. See ya! No. Echizen. I asked to be transferred back to this branch because you're here. Because I wanted to work with you again. Are you free after this? Huh? It, yes. Okay, then let's go get something to eat. I'll tell you all about my plan. Oh, okay. So I went out to eat with Echi Zen and, as promised, told her all about my plan. She was surprised, but because she knew me well, she understood. So as planned, I gave them my letter of resignation. And after I resigned, Echi Zen, what are you doing here? I didn't know why, but Echi Zen was at my apartment. <laughs> I thought that you might be bored now that you quit your job. 
Oh, but aren't you working today? I asked for a couple days off a month ago, so I have this whole week off. A whole week? I'm surprised they let you do that. Well, I had my vacation days piling up, so they gave me the okay. Well, I guess if she's the one asking, then can't say no. By the way, have you eaten lunch yet? No, I was planning on going out to eat in a little bit. Good, I bought some stuff, so I'll make you lunch. Really? Of course, that's why I brought it. Okay, thanks. I'll cook some rice. I'll do it. No, but I can at least do that. Don't worry about it, I want to. Okay, but then thanks. I had no idea what had gotten into her, but it's nice of her to come over and make me lunch. Mmm, this is good! <laughs> Yay! You really can't do anything. You're amazing. No, I can't. You're way better than me at programming. You're being too humble. I'm just being honest. By the way, should I feed you? What? Come on, open your mouth. No, that's fine. I can eat by myself. Fine, but you should just let people help you during times like these, you know? But feeding me is what a girlfriend would do for her boyfriend? Huh, okay, fine. I guess it is a problem then. Oh, someone's calling me. Hmm, something always comes up. What did you say? Nothing. Why is she mad? It's the manager. I'm gonna go answer this. No, answer it here. I know what he's calling about. Oh, okay. I'm gonna answer it then. Put it on speakerphone. Okay. Yes, hello? Kaido? Where are you? I'm at home. Okay, and come to the office right now! Why is he ordering you to go? He's so rude. Shh. Sorry, manager, but I'm busy. Come on! Just come! I can't. I need to find my next job. Be grateful! If you apologize, I might let you come back! Echizen! Echizen suddenly reached out and shut off the call. He was being annoying, so I cut him off. You cut him off? But my plan... It's fine. He's gonna call back right away. But you can't answer it, okay? He did. But why can't I answer it? Because you don't really like confrontation. When you're negotiating, you have to lead the conversation and not let the other people take the reins. Especially when you have the advantage. Okay, then when should I answer? You don't have to answer at all. What? Let's forget about it and eat lunch. Yeah, I don't want to get cold. I felt bad to let the lunch Echizen made me get cold. So I decided to forget about the manager for a second and eat the rest of my lunch. By the way, I shut off my phone as Echizen told me to. Oh, he's finally here. Is that the manager? Probably. He had no choice but to come here with your phone off. And you just told him you were home. She really thinks strategically. I then went to open the door. I'm sorry for how I talked to you just now. Please come back to work, Kaido! Manager? What? What's going on? The main branch has been sending us a ton of system fix requests and the new system development request. I told them that we hadn't been taking on those requests these past years, but they said that an employee named Kaido had been doing it all this time. And I don't have the authority to hire more people. And without the original creator of the system, we don't have the time to understand the system from scratch. Please, we need you. What is this? Aren't you being a little too self-centered here? What? And she's in. I thought you were at the main branch today. What are you doing at Kaido's house? It was nice working with you the other day, manager, but I've come back to this branch. But HR told me to keep it a secret. You really aren't interested in other people, huh? Sh shut up! Why aren't you working? Whatever. I'm using a vacation day. Ugh. Ever since you went to work at the main branch, you've become such a brat! I guess it's all thanks to you. You're so rude! Manager, I don't think you came here to talk about that. Right. Please, Kaido. Please come to the office right now. That's impossible. And don't you think you'll get in trouble if you let an ex-employee into the workplace? And have you forgotten how you used me as a scapegoat? Uh, that wasn't. It was your fault. Sir, this is your last chance. Will you just admit that you falsely accused me? No. That wasn't a false accusation. It really was all you, Kaido. <sighs> you really are a fool. He really is. Who are you calling a fu- uh, President? What are you doing here? Really, what are you doing here, Uncle? I thought we were supposed to be at the office. Uncle! <laughs> I thought things would get going around now, and I was headed to your old branch. But when I got there, I heard the manager had already headed to your house, so I came here too. Uh, President, how do you and Kaido know each other? Huh? 
Keisuke is my nephew. What? Why is the company president's nephew working a regular office job? I never even heard that your nephew was working in the company. Well, of course you haven't. If everyone knew he was my nephew, they would be too easy on him. I plan for Keisuke to be the next CEO. He needs to learn how to work hard. I, I can't believe this. By the way, manager, you forsake the opportunity Keisuke just gave you. So I have no choice but to fire you and your nephew. Why? This is wrong. I promise I'll do something about the system request the main branch has been sending us. That's not the issue. Do you remember the system catastrophe you caused a while back? I have proof that your nephew was the one who made the system that caused all the issues, and that you later destroyed that proof. Uh, that's impossible! I'm old friends with the man in charge of the cloud service our company uses, so I asked him to restore the old schedule that you deleted. And thanks to that, I know that you changed the schedule right after the system error occurred, and that the section you changed was the engineer in charge of the system. But... I knew I couldn't prove that I didn't do it, but I also knew there was a chance I could prove who did, and that if I could prove who did it, that I would automatically prove my innocence. D damn it! Rezzy! It's true. I did this because I wanted to protect my nephew, but I've worked hard for this company until now, so please don't fire me! Please. I know you've caused much more problems than this. Have you forgotten about your sexual harassment against Itchy Zen? Well, why do you know about that? I thought that was put to rest because there was no proof! Because Kaido and I told him about it. What? How dare you go against me! Hey, be careful now! She's that cloud service president's daughter I just told you about. What? Her father wanted her to learn about business, so she's been working for me. I didn't tell everyone about the claims about your sexual harassment because I didn't have the proof. The real reason is because she didn't want relations between her father's company and mine to get sour, so she just took it. And I know you know that because it was Keisuke who reported your sexual harassment, that you've been cold to him ever since. That you lied to everyone and told them that he was useless, and that you wouldn't give him anything to do. Then why didn't you take any action until now? Because we were gathering proof of all your wrongdoings and forced you out of the company. I knew that you would keep sexually harassing other employees besides Echi Zen, so I was watching you. Unfortunately, you were wary of me, so you didn't show your true colors. And well, because of all these reasons, we don't want you working for the company anymore. I won't let you get away with resigning. You will be formally fired. Take this opportunity to think long and hard about what you've done. I can't believe this. Okay, I'm taking him back to the office to finish the paperwork. Echi Zen. Yes? You negotiated directly with me, so I look forward to seeing what you do next. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why don't you ask Etchy said? Okay, then. I'll leave you two young people to do what you'll do, and I'll be getting out of here. That's all Uncle said, and he left. And, of course, he took the manager with him. Oh, um, Kaido. Huh? What's up? So, so I have something important I need to tell you. Uh, well... You go out with me. Oh, what is happening? I've always wanted to tell you. When I just started working at the company, you noticed what the manager was doing to me and you helped me. I've liked you ever since. But my father already had someone he wanted me to marry. So it's taken me a while to be free. And the other day, I was finally able to persuade my father. So I asked the president to let me go back to work with you at the branch office. So please... Will you be my boyfriend? To be honest, it's not that I didn't know how she felt about me. I felt like maybe she liked me. I didn't think she would come to a guy's house and make him lunch if she wasn't interested in him. But I knew that she already had a fiancé picked out for her by her father, so I just let it go. Okay, let's go out. Really? I've always thought you were an amazing woman, so I'm really happy you asked me out. Uh, I see. I'm really happy to. Okay, then I look forward to being your girlfriend, Keisuke. And now that we're dating, we decided to live together at the behest of Noah. And she became super sweet on me. And now that no one else was around, every day we are super affectionate with each other. And every day is great. By the way, now that everything has been sorted out, I returned to work at my uncle's company. Now that everyone knew I was going to be the next CEO, I went to work at the main branch. My uncle's making me work really hard every day. 
So Noah also went back to working at the main branch, and she's working hard too. <laughs>